Well, howdy folks. Cobra Ramsey here with the Happy Chippers Club, which is a part of the uh, County Extension Office. And uh, we meet uh, the third Thursday of every month at uh, 12.30, I think it is now. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little, it's, it's a beginner's amateur carving. It's just something that we do, just, just the, the wonderful art of wood carving, which is something that, of course, there's professional that do, professionals that do this. But this is just something for like a hobby, uh, kind of a craft that's been forgotten, but it's something that's, that's easy, it's simple, Sounds a little scary because you're using a sharp knife, but we wear safety gloves. These gloves you can buy at Walmart or any kind of a sporting goods store. They're fish cleaning gloves, I believe. And what it is, they won't, if you, if you miss the wood, they won't cut through. Now they will stab through, but they won't cut through. And if you're cutting like, if you're cutting a piece of wood and I've got my finger in the wrong place and I come down like this and I come off down my finger, then I'm not cut. So we encourage you to buy those. And then um, sometimes we have what's called a thumb guard. You'll need that because some of the cuts we make, we, most, most of the cuts are away from us. We're not having to worry about that. Sometimes we have to make a cut where we have to pull the wood, the knife toward us like this. And if our thumb happens to be in the way, then when that, le when that knife leaves the wood, it's going to go on our thumb and the reason I know that is you can't see it but I've got a cut right here that says I should have had my thumb protector on but I didn't <laughs> here's an example we're doing a, what's called a bear I saw this on YouTube and uh, I can't remember the first guy but the guy that I watched you can find him on there called Doug Linker uh, just just check about carving a bear and he, he carves this little bear. It's where I got this idea. And then he'll tell you about a fellow that's also on there that carves these. But I found different folks that carve them. All this is to carve a bear. Now these are painted. This is Papa Bear. This is Mama Bear. And this is Baby Bear. And uh, as you can see, they're just simple little characters. This is a piece of wood. It's bass wood. It's one inch, it's one inch square, two and a half inches long. Now to start carving, you'll notice on these, on these uh, examples here, you have the level of the ears, then you have the forehead, then you have the face, which is another level, then you have the nose, and then you have the chin and the body. So you do this in steps. Now, if you take just a blank piece of wood, here's the problem. Now, the first thing you wanna notice is, wood has grain, you can't see this, but wood has grain, and the grain on this piece of wood is going, is going like this, okay? All right, now, that tells me that the grain on the side is also going the same way, okay? Now, to make it easier to carve, to make it, see, here's the, here's the layer of the grain, and then here's the way it is on the side. And you can see that, of course, this, the light may not be, but you can see the grain right here. Now, the easiest way to carve a piece of wood is to carve it with the grain. Because if you attempt, because the grain is, it's in layers, it's fibers, it's in layers. And if you carve the way the layers are laying, it's easier. If I attempt to carve against the grain, it wants to go in under it and raise it up. And then the wood will split out if the grain, if, for example, if the grain was, was like this, okay, I can carve it this way fine, all right? That's not a problem because I'm going with the grain. But if I attempt to go the opposite direction, what happens is, is that the knife catches in this grain and then what it's going to do is break loose this layer of grain that follows that mark. So that's, that, that's one of the reasons you want to make sure the orientation of your wood, the grain is going the way you're going to do most of your carving. You can't always carve with the grain. There are times you have to carve against the grain. But you've, you kind of just feather those little cuts so that you don't create such a, 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 a large amount of wood. Now to carve this little bear, here's another example of it. As I said, to carve this little bear, you have the 
the ears, the level of the ears, then the forehead. This would be where your eyes go. Then the nostril. You can see here I've carved a little, a little triangle here for the nostril, a little notch for his mouth. And then, of course, his chin, his breast, his arms, his belly, and his feet. So to, in order to start that, first thing you want to do is find the center of your block of wood. So, and this, you can just, this doesn't have to be exact, but I can tell just by looking, there's the center, there's the center, and right here would be the center. Now, the reason we do that is, if I'm going to carve a nose, obviously, if I'm over here and my nose is over here, it's not symmetrical. So, if you draw a line from this point, if you draw a line from this point to this point, okay. Now I know that's just that's in fact I can see right now that's a little bit off. Let me draw it right about right right about here is the center, okay? So I know now that my nose will go right here and it'll be asymmetrical then to the rest of the carving, okay? So the first thing you would do this would be a block of wood. It be like it would be like this, okay? Let me do do it from this end. First thing I would do, <clears throat> I want to have enough wood to make his ears right here. Okay, and you can see on these, you need enough wood to make sure you've got, you got room for the ears. Now, these ears are thinner. This one's a little thicker because I cut this on a bandsaw. This one I didn't. I carved it out, and it, and it makes it a little harder. But we, we have discovered here in our whittling club that if we're on whittling on wood, if we take a spray bottle and mix it 50% rubbing alcohol and 50% water, you can spray this wood and it'll soften it and let it, and then it makes it easier to carve. So I didn't have this spray bottle, so this was kind of difficult to carve, but it doesn't have to be. I just didn't take the time to spray it. But what I would do is I would take my wood, my one inch now, to about two and a half inches, I would decide where my ears need to go. So I would draw me a line right here, all right? Now I know I want them to come down so far so I can have a forehead, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I've got my ears lined out here. So what I'm gonna do now is come down right here. I'm gonna draw a line right here. Now that's as tall as I want my ears. So that tells me then automatically that my forehead will be right here, okay? See, here's my ears, and this is my forehead. Now, the next level would be what I call the face. That's this part right here. So I know now, after I have come down here for his forehead, I know now to come down another level, which would be right here, come down another level and then come back out, come down another level right here, come back out. Now, this is going to be where my face is. This is where my eyes are going to be, okay? And my nose, my nose is going to be right here, all right? Now, it's got a head, so I've got to figure out its neck, all right? So I've got its face, here's the neck. So I've got its face, I've got its ears, I've got its, uh, I've cut this out, I've got its forehead here and its face where its eyes are gonna be. I've also cut his, I know where I'm gonna put his nose. So now I've got to define the head. So what I do now is I take another mark and I come right across here, all the way across, try to keep these in line, all the way across, now, this brings me to the back of the head. Now, you can do, you can make it level all the way across, or you can create it, uh, you, can, you, can, you wanna slope the head, slope the head down kindly, and then the shoulders, to bring the shoulders up. So, this, like this one right here, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I might want my head to, to be like our, like our head is. 
I might want to make this a little bit higher. So when I come around now with his, with his, with his, you know, we're here, here's his neck. I might want to make the back of his head a little bit higher. Okay. Like that. So I cut a notch here and then up here. And then I, I would angle the line from here to here, which gives the back of his head a little bit more of a slope, more like our heads are shaped. But even if you just go around, that's that'll be fine because this is just this is just a character. It's just a little inner something to entertain. Uh, you can make these. The kids would love to play. Make them to where, and if you paint them, uh, paint them with a paint that's not toxic, because. I've made these and give them to kids and they, they love playing. So they're going to play with them. Probably going to put them in their mouth if they're small. So keep that in mind. You might not want to put anything on them. Now, let's go back to our, our bear here because we want to keep this as short and simple as we can. Like I said, we've already cut the level for his ears. We've cut the level for his face, for the bear's face. Now, I want to cut a level for, their, for, this, for his nose, okay? So I'm going to make a mark right here, all right? Now, I know this is going to be the bottom of his head because this is his chin. So I'm just going to come around, all the way around, bring this mark right here around, and then bring these two marks together across the back. Now, this level right here, okay, this is going to be their face but I want the face to be rounded. See here, I don't, want a, I don't want a block face. So what I'm gonna do is take off these corners right here, okay? It's hard to look over, okay. I'm gonna take these corners off. Now to do that, now the next thing, notice that I drew the line here in the center of the block of wood and I carried it up here. That's because I'm now going to make his ears. I'm going to separate his ears. I'm going to take my knife, do what's called a stop cut. Then I'm going to do a V cut. I'm going to cut into that notch like that. Turn it around. Cut into notch like that. Lift it out. Now, I already know where my ears are going now. Now, if you can see, one ear is a little longer than the other, a little wider than the other. All you have to do to correct that you just come back and take a little more wood, okay? And then you carve this notch, you carve this notch down to right here, okay? So you want that to go all the way down there. Now to separate the ears from, uh, from the, rest of the, of the rest of the face, first of all, let's, let's do the face, okay? Now we're gonna do the face. So what I'm gonna do is do a stop cut right here in front of the ears, okay? This is where you'll need your spray bottle now because you're fixing to cut across the grain, all right? I'm gonna take my knife, my carving knife, and I'm gonna cut that off into little pieces. Don't try to take big chunks, you just get into trouble, okay? Now, you can see this wood is, is real dry, so it makes it a little more difficult, but if you take off a little bit of wood, you can trim it up. If you take off too much wood, you can't put it back. <laughs> that's the, that's the, now, you may not be able to see it, but I've made a little divot right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Come over here with a stop cut right here. Now remember, have on your glove protection because you're, you're working real close with your blade like this, okay? Now, I'm gonna turn, turn it over and I'm gonna make another angle cut right here, just a little bit, just to get the wood started. I'm just gonna do it in little bitty, little bitty pieces, see? I don't wanna to try to come down here and cut that whole chunk off, because what can happen is, and this happens a lot, if I'm, you have to use a lot of force, and if my knife happens to go past this and breaks this corner off, it's gonna go right into my finger deep, okay? Because I've got a lot of pressure on it. So we don't want that. That's not what carving is. Carving is not about 
cutting yourself, it's about cutting wood. But occasionally we do cut ourselves. That's just part of the the uh, the process. But have your have your safety gloves. You don't have to worry about it. You can cut it like that, or this is the way I this is the way I cut my thumb because when I, I the piece that I cut jumped off, and of course the corner of that blade went right in my thumb just like that. So, yeah, experience keeps a dear school. Benjamin Franklin said. So here's the, so I'm going to cut like this, just little bitty slivers, okay. Now notice it's still hanging on. That's no problem. I'm just going to go back, make a little slicing cut right in here. Now, and that cleans up. You can always go back. Just do this in a rough cut because you're not finished with the product yet. You're going to go back and cut. You're going to go back and smooth it up. So now this gives me a place. Now, this is my forehead. And this gives me a place now to, to, uh, to place my eyes. See? Okay, now here's my eyes, all right? Now we're coming to the nose, all right? So I want the nose. It's a bear, so it's got to have a muzzle. It's not going to have a nose like we've got. It's got a muzzle. So I know this is the bottom of my chin. We already established that. So I want my nose, I want my muzzle to be this wide, okay? Trying to stay. Now, this is the center line right here. We got it up here. Okay, I'm trying to stay right here, okay? Now, in order to establish that, I want to establish his chin. I've already got a line here. So what I do, I make I make a cut right here, okay? And I make a notch. I just cut a V notch right here. Okay, there's a V notch. Now, what I do, I'm gonna leave his neck the same. Now you see where this notch is? I'm just gonna slide my knife right over back to here that tells me where this notch is going to be. All right. Then I'm going to slide my knife over from that notch to here. This tells me where miss, miss, this notch is going to be. And from there, I'm going to go from that notch over to here, and that tells me where this notch needs to be. All right, now we have our neck defined. So uh, all we have to do now is just come back and make what's called a slicing cut, which is just simply across like this. This is a, this just breaks the wood fiber. Don't have to be deep. This breaks the wood fibers. Then what I'm going to do, I could try to cut this whole piece, but that that's that's going to be kind of hard. The easiest way to do it is come back here. Let's just cut this corner off right here. All right. Okay. Let's come over here and cut this corner off because we know we're going to take do it this away with this wood anyway. Now, come back and cut a little bit more here. These are easy cuts. Now we're not cutting a lot of wood. We're just we're just removing a little wood at a time. We're not in a hurry. This is a hobby. Not a, we're not going to take it to the state fair, all right? Now, I've still got my cut right, the slicing cut. Now I can remove this wood like this, see? Just come in here with your knife, slice that. Slice that. Now all I have to do is slice this one little piece in the middle. And away it comes. So you do that all the way around. We established the... the, the uh, the neck all the way around. Now we'll have that, and I'm not gonna do that for time's sake. Now, I've got, his, I've got his muzzle. So what I'm gonna do is cut this mark here and cut this mark here. Now, sometimes when you're cutting this, I'm gonna do it on purpose. Sometimes when you're cutting this, your knife will cut down into that wood, all right? Don't worry about that. We've got to trim up to his chin and we'll cut that out. But if you can stop your knife, which a lot of times I don't, if you can stop your knife right there, but I still cut down it, don't worry about it. Now, I do know this. I have got to go from these, from these cut places, I have got to go all the way back here to, their, to, his, to his face. I'm calling him him. It's, it could be a her or a little child. or whatever. We know we're going all the way back here, see? Okay, so that tells us 
we have to remove this wood, this wood, and this wood on both sides. So I've already made my, my mark here. I've already marked it out. So I know automatically that I'm just going to start carving away this wood. I'm going to do a stop cut right here. See, just a slicing cut right here. So it stops the wood from going any further. Then we're going to just carve back, okay, to that point, to his face. All right, now I'm going to carve it all. And then as I get closer to his muzzle, then I may decide that it's easy, it would be easier just to take some of this wood off from his face. See? Now, see, I'm cutting against the grain. Now, that's a good example. That wood split right there because it's saying, don't cut me that way. But, and I don't have to, but I'm going to. But see, it wanted to follow. Now, and how you can tell it, those wood fibers are broken, see? Now, watch the difference. If I cut toward the grain, watch how this smooths up. And now there's a smooth surface. So that tells you this grain wants to be cut this way and not this way. But sometimes you have to cut against the grain. You just have to work with it. And then if it's still rough, you can sand it out, okay? All right, now, I'm, that's pretty well self-explanatory. We've got the ears, we've got all that. Let's go down now. This bear's gotta have some feet, right? All these bears, have, they have paws, okay? These, these have got paws here that, that come around. This is, a, this is mama bear. Uh, mama bear's got toenail polish and lipstick on. So that's how we know she's mama bear, right? Now, papa bear don't have, he's got, he's got his claws, but he don't have any, any makeup on. And little, the, the little, uh, little bear, he just, he just plain bear, all right? So we know we're gonna have to have feet. So we come up a quarter of an inch, what, you know, maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch. Here's a good way to do that. Take your finger, lock your pencil, and just simply glide your finger along the bottom of the wood and it will draw a straight line across the bottom of the wood. So here's going to be our feet. And this we'll, we'll bring this to a close right quick here with this. Now, I know that's going to be my feet. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a stop cut right here. Because I'm going to leave this wood. I'm going to cut down to that. All right. Okay. We'll go on the other side. Make a stop cut. Cut down. Now, I've started his feet, but his feet's not together. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna make a stop cut here. And then simply cut that out. Now we've separated his feet. So that's that's how you carve. That's how you get this thing, this fellow here. Now for his arms. Of course, this is his chin. Now, this is his chin. We know from, from his feet to his chin is his belly, all right, his chest and his belly. But we want his, now I've got this all marked up here, if I can erase some of this. Uh, a bear's got to have arms, right? Now, you can do it one or two ways. These, this bear has the arms on the side, okay? This bear has his arms in the front. So the simple way to do the front ones is simply to draw a V. Just figure out where you want his paws to end, okay? Right in the middle, we're going back to this middle line. Okay, so we're gonna start just a little below his chin and come in like this, okay? Let me get it where it's hard to, now. That gives me his paw, so I'm just gonna draw the bottom of his arms right here. I wanna gap in between them, okay? And so I'm gonna draw this arm up, this. This is the rest of his arm right here. Now, okay. So I just I just draw. A, this is a stop called a stop cut. I just draw a stop cut in here. Draw a stop cut in here. Come back and take the point of my knife and take out that little piece of wood. Turn my knife over and take out this little piece of wood right here. Okay, you can smooth this up later. Then I'll cut this, come back and cut this out. And 
then come back and cut this out. Okay. And now I've got his arm. So what I can do now is to make his paws, I'll just cut a little angle right here, like that. Cut a little, little angle right here like that. And then all I do is remove the wood from in between those. And you can see that, then that gives you that, then you can paint your, put your little claws on there. Sometimes I'll take a knife and just cut little V's to make, make his claws. But that's how you make a bear. It looks like this. It's a lot of fun. And uh, uh, it's easy, easy done, easy carving. Nothing complicated about it. And you can also make a rabbit like this. The only difference between the, the bear and the rabbit would be the length of his ears. So you would cut a deeper cut down here to his forehead to make a rabbit. And then, of course, you'd have a shorter body, but you'd still have, you could still bring the rabbit's little arms right here. And you might, if you just wanted to be fancy, you might paint him with a little carrot, holding a little carrot. You might paint a little green top and holding a little carrot between his paws. It gives you just an idea. And uh, so I, I hope you join us this, this coming Thursday, 1230, here at the Extension Office for Happy Chippers. We'd be glad to have you.